Okay, so I'm gonna answer this question. Was it a plea bargain or did I take the case before a jury? Well, to me, it was a no-brainer. I'm the kind of person, if I get a speeding ticket, I will go in and I'll pay the ticket. It's not a big deal. Um, I'll admit, you know, I went into the Capitol for two minutes, eight seconds. Okay, you didn't want me to. I'm guilty. I was ready to say I was guilty on day one. Not a problem. Um, it wasn't really that big of a deal to me. I thought it was stupid. I thought, okay, fine, God. So I had two charges. One was like violent entry and one was something else. And I was just like, okay, I entered the Capitol. What do you want to do to me? And I figured, you know, nothing like what originally happened. I mean, eventually happened. Then, so what they do is they stack the charges. They stack the charges on you in the federal court so that you will take a plea deal. They do that. I mean, they have, it's really not fair. They just gave me, like I was on Twitter with my girlfriends having happy hour and I put a picture showing that I wasn't sad <laughs> because I didn't really, I think probably an FBI guy was following me and I didn't even care. I mean, I was just enjoying my life. Anyway, they, that pissed them off. And so they gave me two more charges. That's like a couple weeks later, like, oh my God, really? You're gonna put me, you're gonna give me two more charges for being happy on Twitter? So then I knew not to be on Twitter anymore because they're gonna put more charges on me. They just can put charges on you for whatever they want. And so I was like, dude, give me a plea deal. I mean, I was begging for the plea deal. They arrested me and on the day they arrested me, I was like, here, let's meet, let's talk, I'll show you. I was like, here's the key to my house. They're like, if you don't give us the key to your house, we're gonna bust your door down. And I go, the key is right here. You know, here's my car. Like I was so nice and so cooperative on the, the mo, I like had nothing to hide. And so anyway, I wanted to get a plea deal as soon as possible because I wanted to put it behind me and okay, fine, whatever, whatever. I had no idea what they were gonna do to me by the, at the end of the day. I mean, they were watching me, they were watching my Twitter and just waiting for me, laying in wait like the enemy, trying to get me to screw up. I think they had like people that they were trolling me with. I mean, it was a bad situation. So I pled guilty to parading and picketing and it was supposed to be like, you know, 60 days probation or something. And then I tweeted something else, and then they're like, now you're going to prison. Freaking, oh, they were horrible.